For the first time in over 15 months, the Dallas Cowboys have won back-to-back -back games as consecutive wins for the Cowboys in a 41-33 wild final score between the Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers out at AT&T Stadium. Welcome in, everybody, to the first word presented by Dr. Pepper. Kyle Yeomans here, joined by a trio of former Dallas Cowboys, Barry Church, Nate Newton, the birthday boy, they got you a win, Nate, on your birthday. Yes, and sir. Isaiah, stand back. And Nate, since it is your big day and it's a birthday win for you, let's go ahead and start with you on this one. What did you think about the 41-33 win? Oh, man, once again, the turnovers, man. These defensive guys over here to my left, I tell you about them turnovers. They come in bunches like collard greens, baby. They're good. <laughs> they're good and they're righteous, man, and I love it. The, the defense, once again, led the way. Uh, we had a great job by Tony Pollard. We had a great job by C.D. Lamb. But once again, D-Law, hey, you started this thing, man, and I, and I appreciate you for it. Yeah, no, I mean, these boys came to play today. I mean, they brought the energy. We talked about how important that was going to be prior to the game. Uh, they brought the energy. and We had big. We had Wilson come back. Wilson is back in the building. Yes, he let his presence right. be known. You can feel the difference. Can't you just feel it? I can feel the it. Juice. He can yeah. feel the juice when he's on the field. He was running around, getting interceptions, almost getting interceptions, hitting people. Um, the whole defense really rallied around the ball. Uh, these guys made plays. And the unsung hero, this offensive line, protected like crazy because San Francisco was blitzing, 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 and they came kept Andy Dalton nice and protected. Yeah, th this was a great overall victory, great team victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And like my boy Kyle said, it was the first time they won back-to-back -back games all year. And they needed it, especially with a Washington loss. They needed this to happen. But hats goes off to the defense for me. Like you said, the striker, Wilson, yeah. he showed yeah. up, man. He striker. showed up. He was striking people. He was <laughs> intercepting passes, showing his coverage skills. So hats goes off to him. But I got to give even more credit to the special teams. The punter out there, news wonder, if I'm, if I'm butchering his name, nice I, I apologize. But, I mean, he was doing his thing out there, just flipping the field, punt after punt after punt. C.J. Goodwin down there, down in the form. So overall, it was a great Cowboys win, and I'm glad to see it. Well, and also the final actual game's winning touchdown ended up being the C.D. Lamb return on the onside kick. I mean, if he didn't have that return on the onside kick, the Hail Mary at the end would have actually been to tie the football game. So things kind of working out in favor because of the special teams today. But you guys mentioned the offensive line because of kind of what was at the back half of the second quarter and at the start of the third quarter this was not a, uh, an easy win by any means and it took a lot of resiliency especially in that second half to find a rhythm Isaiah and the Cowboys certainly did that with kind of a couple big plays the Dalton Schultz touchdown in the third quarter and they continued that momentum into the fourth yeah, these guys were making plays, man. I mean, you saw, you know, Andy Dog was throwing the ball well. These guys were catching it. Uh, we had a, some form of a ground game going, right? We had the, we didn't have the one-two punch like we like we wanted to have all season long. Uh, but Pollard held his own. You know, he came out there and, and and Kellen Moore. Kudos to Kellen Moore for force feeding him. You could tell he just kept giving it to him, giving it to him. He kept running to the back of his offensive lineman, and guess what? Boom! He pops out for a nice little run, draws the defense up, and then we we're able to get behind him with some nice throws. Great job offensively today. You know, I, I like that. And once again, Coach Philbin, I think it's been about, what, eight weeks in a row. I've said <laughs> great job of putting together this offensive line, these guys coming out playing well for you. But I like how they use Pollard, man. Yeah. They, they, they ran him. They threw him the ball. They did all sorts of things to, to make sure that he had a chance to be in open space. And when you do that with this kid, that, that, that's his value. His value ain't just hitting up in there and banging, but just, you know, spreading it out. And they did that, man. And, C.D. Lamb, boy, you, you's a dog. <laughs> he's a dog, man. <laughs> you right about that. I mean, he is a dog. And, yeah. and that goes off to Kellen Moore out there. I think he called a, a wonderful game. He kept the 49ers offense kind of unbalanced pretty much throughout this whole game. And like you, you talked about earlier, um, their offensive line, they, 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 they performed well. They blocked well. They kept Andy Dalton upright. And to me, this was all about the playmakers. It was all about the playmakers. Andy Dalton got Tony Pollard involved early and often. He was able to get the ball to Michael Gallup before he went out. Cooper, those boys, Schultz out there making plays. It was all about the playmakers today, getting the ball in their hands and letting them do work after the catch. They were able to make a lot of guys miss tackles out there and it proved in the pudding that, hey, if you get these balls, if you get these guys the ball early, they can do something with the rock. So hats goes off to offense and Kellen Moore. Well, really quickly, before we wrap things up on the first word, let's go to the defensive side of the football and talk about what the turnovers meant for this team. I mean, four turnovers, Barry Church, in this football game, and you needed every single one of them to set your offense up for success. Yeah, you needed every 
every single one of them. And they weren't just easy turnovers. I mean, Donovan Wilson was breaking downhill each and every time to get the ball. He should have had another pick that he ended up oh, dropping. Yeah. But he was flying all over the ball out there. The defensive line came to life. If they weren't at the quarterback sacking them, they were disrupting them, getting the ball out when they could. I think Mullins had two fumbles in the game, and that provided a short field for our offense. And Isaiah, our offense was able to take advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Our offense, you know, converted off of that. And that's what we've talked about in the past. When we have gotten turnovers, we, we try to kick field goals, right? We attempted to make to kick <laughs> field goals. I'm not going to say we made them. Um, but that's what happened in the past. But that, that was not the case today. Um, it was a very complimentary football game in all three phases. Dang. Donovan Wilson interception, Anthony Brown interception, D. Law force, force fumble, Smith recover, uh, Armstrong got involved, mm. force fumble recover. Just a bunch of guys playing defense, doing what they got to do, and you got to love that. You got to love it. You definitely do. And with the Cowboys win and a Washington loss. Going into week 16, the Cowboys still have an opportunity to win the NFC East. It's pretty crazy whenever you talk about the Cowboys playoff scenario. But that's going to do it for us here on The First Word. Once again, the final score, 41-33. More post-game reaction on the way on DallasCowboys.com.